Hi, I'm Dustin. I'm the creator of Rapid Rig. In this tutorial, I will be continuing from where we left off with uh, creating modules, and I will be talking about how to edit modules. So as you're working and you're creating your proxies, you're going to need to make changes to them at some point as you're you know, figuring out how to fit things and adjust the settings. Also, if you're creating off of a template, so any of these, it's likely that you'll have to make some changes because it won't be exactly what you need out of the box. So uh, this is where the edit modules tab comes into play. So here we can make several changes to our different module types. So for example, when we created the leg setup initially, we made it a double knee leg kind of setup. So it has these lower knees and probably doesn't make sense for this character. So what I can do is in the edit modules, rather than having a scroll list like in RRM2, uh, all you have to do is select what you need and then you can hit load selected module or you can go from the drop down. Now, if you've created new modules and maybe you're not seeing what you need, just refresh it and then it will update to get all the latest. So yeah, there's kind of two ways you could do this. You can select a module and hit load selected, or you can uh, just click the drop down and then choose which one of your modules you want to edit. So I'll jump back to the leg here. And when you select your module, it'll load in the settings that your module is currently at. You can reset it to be the defaults, but uh, yeah, so I want it to have one knee joint only, but I'll put these back at two. So now I've done that, I'll go ahead and hit apply edits to leg, and you'll see that those bottom ones disappear. So we only have like the one knee joint, and I can just update those, make sure they're in the right place. Same thing with, uh, for example, let's modify the spine so I can select the spine, load selected, or again, use the drop down to grab the spine. And I could change the number of joints here. So let's say we want it to be uh, six. So now I can just apply edits and now we have a spine with six joints instead of the initial five. Uh, we can also go in and, you know, like on the arms here, I'll just load that. We can, you know, adjust the number of those joints. So I could just make that change three and three. Now we get that. So all these things that are kind of in the initial settings, you know, you can kind of go through. So if we look at the arm, for example, it's more or less the same here as in the create settings. Uh, so a couple things though, that are, are a bit unique to this one being with uh, props or sorry, with auxiliaries. So like things like this prop auxiliary. So I'm going to go ahead and load that one in and you'll see here, there's this field. So here we can, uh, add more things for it to follow when you generate the final rig. So for example, let's say you wanted to have a character holding a weapon or a gun or something like that, and you needed to be able to move it from one hand to the other. So what you could do is, you know, select the wrist that you want to add that it's not already following. And we could say add follow nodes, and then you'll get that extra node there. It'll always have the, the node that it's attached to just to kind of, you know, so you know that it's there. And you can add as many as you like. So I could add a whole bunch here. Uh, and if I want to kind of get rid of some, I can highlight those and remove. I could just clear all, which will bring me back to just that default. And then I can just add this back again. So I will just add that back in and then I will apply edits. And then now when I go and build my rig, it'll have that. Um, another thing that's really useful is being able to rename your modules. So for example, if we take I yeah, will stick with the prop here. I'll load that, make sure it's right. And I can give this a name. So I could call this, you know, shoulder pad or whatever I want it to be. And then I'll apply my edits again. And then now you can see that this is named shoulder pad. I can do the same thing with, you know, the arm, load that in. Oh, and one thing to note too, is if we uh, load this in, you'll see that it says left arm shoulder. So if we grab this and we change that name to like, uh, let's say arm two or two, three, whatever, and I'll apply my edits. And so now all of these are called arm two. And then if I go back to this one and load it in, you can see that it now has arm two shoulder. So it'll update based on those settings. Uh, we can go in and modify our rope to add like, you know, change it to four. And we can also change what it attaches to at the other end. So currently it's, uh, arm two, I could make it, uh, sorry, the wrist, I could make it to the elbow. And now it's attached to the elbow instead. So lots of flexibility in this. So even though you've created your modules, 
you can still go in and make a lot of changes. Some things you cannot do is uh, change, for example, the mirroring. So for example, spine, uh, spline, sorry, you can do none or pair here for all these. You have different mirroring settings in your edits. You can't really do that um, currently. Maybe something I get to, but it's tricky because of how things get attached to it and trying to figure out the logic there and saving and loading um, your settings and things like that. So. But yeah, for, for most other things, you can edit your modules through this edit tab.